Hello? How's it going, everyone? All right? I'm going on. I really like my job. One of the biggest reasons is I get interacted with our community. Our community is so vibrant. It's challenging sometimes. But when I say our codes has been running everywhere and have the positive impact for your business, it's so rewarding. As our co-founder, Marco Paladino, said yesterday, open source is our DNA. I truly believe that. We was born from the community and has grown with the community. From side projects of the company, grows into the world's most popular API gateway products with more than 100 million downloads in total. We cannot go far without the support, without the feedback from the community. Our engineering and product teams has been working very hard over the year to deliver a lot of great features. If you're a big enterprise customer, you have thousands of servers, routes, maybe you have half dozens of plugins. You have lots of complexity. Don't worry, we got you covered. We have declarative configuration. You can integrate with your favorite CICD pipeline. You can choose your favorite version control to reduce your complexity. If a large banking company, your finance company, you have sensitive data, you have sensitive traffic, don't worry, we got you covered. With the mutual TS support, you are now able to encrypt it, all the traffic from cone to upstreams. If you're a tech company, you're cutting edge, you want to play with gRPC, don't worry, we got you covered with the native gRPC proxy support. Now you are able to enable analytics, logging, observability, just enable a few com plugins. With that, I'm very proud to announce Com V2. As I mentioned, besides all the great features we've been built over the year, we also spend a lot of focus improving our performance to make our system more reliable because we are the foundation of the whole company. Many of you are here might already use open source version before everything's purchased us. As you can see, Gateway is the root of everything. It's make the whole life cycle complete. As a couple of folks might notice in a couple of slides before, there's Q Gopher over there. So uh, who loves Go? Make some noise. <laughs> all right, all right. So who has Go in production? Make some noise. All right, OK, thanks, folks. So, According to a survey done by the Go team, in March 2019, with more than 5,000 participants, there's more than 69% are promoter according to the NPS score. And there's more than 89% of the participants says they are love Go in production. I think the Go has been getting much more mature and has very good library to use for networking, for your data analytics, and just get job done. It's, it works free and fun. With that, I got announcing Kong Go support. <laughs> Who wants to see some demos? Yeah. Let's do this. So let me show you a real plugin. It's a read write from five logs we already have today. So as you can see, they have access phase, log phase. So it's very similar to what you are, we're doing here uh, as come before for Lua, but it's actually 
everything right in Go. So let's try to compile that and get started. Underneath that, we build a Go bridge to make our internal talk to the Go plugins and provide a Go PDK to allow you to write plugin inside of Go. Next step, let's make a request. As you can see here, there's a header returns. There's nothing fancy here. Uh, what the purpose of this request? We will have this Go plugin right into your disk. So let's check the disk file. As you can see here, the file has been successfully uh, injected the log entry of there. So let's make some changes on Go plugin. Let's a common access phase to add a header called consummit here. So the message will be hello from consummit. All right, let's uh, recompile those things and restart. Okay, let's make another request. As you can see, the header has been successfully injected. So easy as that. You can use your favorite Go language working with Kong. So I, uh, I would like really excited to see what the innovation from the community by leveraging the mature uh, community from the Go. One of the customer chats with me, they are from Asia, they are one of the biggest e-commerce website. They told me, we have tons of traffic. And because of that, we have to have a lot of call nodes. And it's actually DB connection becomes an issue for, for them. So we released the DBLS mode for your, uh, make your deployments much lighter and also much easier. Also, it's can leverage the good power from the Kubernetes, which Harry gonna cover next. But we do not stop there. We keep pushing for innovation. With that, I'm very proud of it to announce we're going to introduce in hibernate mode. <laughs> it has our newly added data plan contributing separation. Let me explain how it works. So from the classical mode that you can see here, every single cone has talked to DB. It's sometimes causing a lot of issues, as I said before. But with hibernate mode, you can deploy your control plan in anywhere, any cloud. You can enjoy the flexibility to access, to manage, to maintain your cluster everywhere. You can also choose to deploy the data plan on premise, which you can get maximum performance by local practicing your traffic. So let me show you a quick demo. So first here, let's spin out three instances. One data plan on AWS, the row is more at the means to control all the flows here. And the two, one's in AWS and one's DigitalOcean, which is uh, sort of like proxy of traffic. They are the data plans set to different clouds. So we are basically doing the multi-cloud environments here. Let's first check the health information. As you can see here, all the data plan has connected to the control plan and it can return some useful health information. So let's make a request. As you can see here, all the data plan has successfully, successfully pick up the traffic routes to MarkBing. So let's make some changes. Let's redirect our country plan to our summit page. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's make some traffic. As you can see, the data plan pick up the configuration from country plan instantly. All right, so some of you folks might be curious. Uh, what if my country plan is done? What's gonna happen? So let's try that. Let's kill the country plan. Okay, country plan has been killed. Let's try rerun the traffic. As you can see, the traffic can still operational as normal. High availability, All right? <laughs> yes, 
let's do not stop there. Let's go even further. Let's kill all the data plan. All right, let's try the traffic. So traffic's done, let's restart it. As you can see, even we kill the control plan, no one sent com configurations. Also, we start the data plan, and you can see traffic is still working. <laughs> Availability, 100% is our goal. All right. So with that, I would like inviting you folks to go to the Bintree to give it a try. Hopefully today, I'm so excited to see how it's helped your organization go further. With that, thank you everyone. I would like inviting. <laughs>